Hey guys, I thought I'd do a video on how to get the right paint consistency for doing, you know, eyelashes and eyeliner and all that kind of stuff. Because I saw someone online talking about how they weren't really sure how thick the paint was supposed to be or how thin it was supposed to be, so I thought, well, the easiest way to show you is to just do a quick video. So, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I am using this brush, which is a liner brush. And the paint I'm using is let's go ahead. It's just sort of a regular standard acrylic black paint. This is kind of like a, a, a runnier version. Uh, well, you know, paints come in different viscosities. So some of them are known as hard body, some of them are known as soft body, which just means that some are thicker or thinner than others. This is just generally what I use. It's pretty fluid to begin with, so it doesn't really need to be diluted too much. But generally speaking, you never want to use the paint straight out of the tube because it's just going to be too thick to sort of get really thin lines. So you might be able to see there that when I paint a line, when I use it straight out of the tube, it kind of starts to break up. That's not very good. If you try to put more paint on, you get end up with something that's kind of Sluggy, which is not really what you want. You're going to have a really difficult time painting eyelashes with thick paint. So what you want to do is thin it down. And you can use any sort of fluid retarder or even just water if you want. It's really, it's entirely up to you. So I just use a Liquitex fluid additive, just the flow aid. All I do is add a couple of drops of that. And of course, before you start painting, you're always going to want to wipe off the excess paint. So I always if you've ever seen photos, you might see that I wipe it off on the back of my hand. That's just the easiest way for me to do it. You can wipe it off on paper or whatever you want to do. But you want to get your paint really, really thin because the thinner it is, the easier it's going to be to do a longer line. A longer thinner line so I don't know if you can see that that's about how you want it to be sort of really inky as you can see it's kind of it's pretty transparent it's not a super jet black like the uh, undiluted stuff it's much watery it's like yeah it's like ink you know so that's kind of the consistency you're after. Alright, I hope that's uh, a little bit helpful. Bye.